Today we are talking pot roast, but I'm not doing standard mama's pot roast in the crock pot or in the oven. We're going to do it outside on the smoker. I've got my UDS fired up and uh, first thing we're going to do is season this. Uh, what I have is this is a piece, about three pound chuck roast. Now a chuck roast makes really, really good barbecue, man. You smoke this with a little oak, a little pecan. Um, take it all the way down like you do a butt and chop it up. It makes fine barbecue, but, but we're going for more of that pot roast flavor. So what I'm going to do is season it. Um, I've got some all-purpose seasoning that I use, and um, it's salt, pepper, garlic. This is the first layer of seasoning going on. Then I'm going to come back and just reinforce it with a little Montreal. I, mean, I, mean, I, I use this stuff on my briskets. I use it on, it's, it's really good on beef, on steaks on the grill. Whatever you want to put it on, it's real good. it goes really great with beef. So now I'm going to take it outside and we're going to put a sear on the outside of it. I want it to really um, lock in the, the juices and some of these flavors and then we're going to break it down. That's where these root vegetables are going to come in. I'm going to put these potatoes and carrots and some of these onions in a pan. We're going to make a jus. And I'm going to come back and right before I do it, I got something I'm going to kick it up with. just a packet of Lipton onion soup mix. And that's going to really bring some really, uh, really good beefy, oniony, uh, pot roast flavors to this dish. And, uh, you'll never cook one in the oven again once you do it out on your cooker, so stick around. Okay, I'm out here at the UDS. I've got it uh, fired up for about 30 minutes, and it's up to temp, and I just have two vents open on it to give me about 250 degrees. And I got one piece of uh, pecan off in there, because I really like pecan on beef. We're going to cook it uh, for a little while just on each side, because what I want to do is, it's not really a sear, because we've we got so much distance between the fire and the rack, but but it's still gonna caramelize the outside a little bit and give us a nice crust flavor, lock some of those juices inside this chuck roast. And then we're gonna put it in a pan and braise it. So, so all I'm doing is just put, making sure that I put it on the rack right over where my hot coals are. And I'm probably gonna give it about 30 minutes to come out and check on it, maybe flip it over to the other side if it's got the color I want on that side. That'll give me about an hour to get some smoke in it. We'll show you that in just a second. Okay, it's been 30 minutes and we, we let the chuck roast uh, cook right over the coals and now I'm just going to come in and real simple. See, it's already got some color on it, what I'm looking for. And I really just want to get some on the outside and give it some time to get some smoke in it. Uh, after it goes another 30 minutes, it's going to be time to start the braising pot ro uh, process for this pot roast. And uh, I'll show you what we're going to put in it, the vegetables and all that's going to go in a little bit later. But we're going to really get this really good and tender. I'm not worried about internal temperatures, cooking it. It's going to take about four hours, 250 degrees. It's going to be broke down, fork tender. Okay, it's been a total of an hour, so I've had it 30 minutes on both sides, directly on the grate for this chuck roast. Now we're going to move it in the pan. I'm going to take it inside, uh, Lipton soup mix on top of it, and get a beef broth on it that we created with that Jew mix. Get it back on this drum, and we'll get it rocking and rolling. I wanted to talk to you about the braising liquid we're going to use uh, when we get this thing in a pan. And what I started with was uh, some of this, it's called Royal Aju Base. And it's, it's basically like um, real thick uh, beef jus that they've cooked down. You know, they take bones and roast them down in the oven for a long time. And they scrape it up and that's really beef flavor concentrated. And what you do is you rehydrate this with some water. And instead of just, I mean, you could use water or whatever you want in that braising liquid, but I wanted to have it to have a real good beefy flavor. And I've used uh, about an eighth a cup, uh, one ounce of this to 48 ounces of water. Also going to hit it back with one of these packets of Lipton onion soup mix. I mean, you can use whatever kind of store brand you want, but this is going to give it some uh, onion flavor, reinforce that kind of pot roast uh, profile that we're looking for. And I'm also, just to, to give it another tone, I'm going to put about a cup of uh, red wine in there. And that's just uh, to brighten it up, adds a little bit of acidity to it, and that's going to be the braising liquid once we get some color on this meat. All right, I got the chuck roast in the pan. What I'm going to do now is, is add my braising liquid to it. And this is that uh, au jus beef broth that we reconstituted. And I also want to fortify it with some of this red wine. And I mean, I just use the, the kind of wine I drink. This just happens to be a gallo. It's not expensive at all. Use whatever you like. If you want to leave the wine out, that's fine. If you want to add some beer, that's fine. But uh, we're just creating a braising liquid to give it some more flavors. Now I'm going to come back and just sprinkle my Lipton onion soup mix right over the top. Look, hey, we cooking it, don't matter. 
Saw gravy. And we'll let this rock and roll and we'll cover it up with some foil. And get it back out on the cooker. Let it go about an hour. Then we're going to add our vegetables to it. Because if you put those in right now, they'll get too soft. We want them to, to get cooked all the way through. It takes a little bit for the carrots and onions and potatoes. But, but they only need about two hours. So still got the cooker about 250. We're going to give this another hour. Then we're going to add our vegetables. Come back and check it out. And then we're going to take it to where it's just fork tender. We're going to go in there and just pull it apart. We had our pot roast on here for an hour covered up to give it a head start. You can see, man, it's bubbling good looking really great but now i want to add these vegetables to it this is what's going to make it real good man and if you put the vegetables in too quick they will uh get too mushy on you we want to keep some texture on them and you can put man whatever you want in here you don't have, it doesn't have to be potatoes carrots and onions just use whatever combinations you want mushrooms are good in it um celery just any, anything you can think of that that goes with pot roast but so these are the, our favorite here at my house. So we're gonna get these covered back up. About two hours, we'll come back and check it for tenderness. Now it's just a matter of keeping the lid on it, keeping some good constant temp on it. It's running about 250 degrees. We're wanting this chuck roast to get real tender. It'll make a really good pot roast. All right, after the vegetables have braised for two hours, total wrap cooking time in the braising liquid has been three hours. We're gonna take it off see what we got underneath this foil. I know it is gonna be right if I can smell it. I wish you could too. Man, check that out. And what I'm looking for, I'm not, I'm not using a probe or anything. I'm just wanting to see if this thing's tender. And right away, I mean, it's breaking up with the fork. See the smoke ring on it. We're gonna take it inside and plate it up. Oh, most important, taste it, see where we are. Potatoes are busted open. They're perfectly cooked. Carrots are soft. We're good to go. It's been a total of four hours cook time. Pot roast on the drum. Let's go see what it tastes like. I'm excited. All right, this is the finished product. I told you, this is not your mama's pot roast right here. I mean, it's it's full of uh, real, real strong uh, beefy flavors. You pick up a lot of that smoke from that pecan wood and it just tastes awesome. I mean, we've already been into it. I uh, had, to, had to do a little sampling, I must admit, and try this one at home. I, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some rice and some brown gravy with some of the drippings off this, and we're gonna serve this just family style here, and that's what's for dinner at our house tonight. So next time you think about trying a pot roast, Give it a try on your smoker outside. Uh, you'll thank me for that one. It's good, Daddy. It's good? All right.